What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today is Friday. That means Zer is back this week. He is in the reef hanging out in this little cubby hole that no longer has doors because Bungie couldn't figure out how to keep him open on Fridays. We're going to take a look at his inventory. I'll give you guys some recommendations as well. First of all, for the Titans, we've got the Crest of Alpha Lupi. This is a Keeper of the Pack exotic, meaning it allows you to revive your fallen teammates faster. Obviously, this is very valuable for Trials of Osiris. However, it did get nerfed a little bit because it now takes longer to revive fallen teammates. That means that you can no longer just sprint past them while holding down the revive button to get them up. You are gonna have to stop, uh, press the revive button, and wait for them to come up, even if you're using a Keeper of the Pack exotic. However, I still say these are worth having. They're still very valuable. Uh, they're very good for Trials of Osiris. They can be useful in other things because uh, they do help you generate extra orbs. So, for instance, this week in the Prison of Elders, it's not a bad thing to have these equipped uh, just to create extra orbs so you can chain supers. Uh, depending on what you are up to, these can be very good. I highly recommend picking them up. We got increased intellect, increased discipline, auto rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, arc recovery, and arc armor. Uh, if you're playing a striker titan, if you're using a shotgun, then I'd probably just roll with these as is. Uh, if you are a sniper, then obviously you're going to run a re-roll these to get sniper ammo uh, or fusion ammo, depending on what you like to roll with. All right, next up, we've got the young Ahamkara spine. I think these are somewhat of an an underrated exotic. Field trip, increase trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade. So it has two effects. One is it gives you two trip mine grenades. And secondly, those trip mine grenades last a long time. So, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I run the uh, Bones of EO almost all the time on my Hunter just because I love the extra mobility. However, this is pretty good. Having two trip mine grenades and having those trip mine grenades stick around for a long time can really help you out depending on how good you are with the placement of your trip mine grenades. So I would actually recommend picking these up. I think they are somewhat underrated. Uh, the fact that they just last so long, it really does, it does create some good situations. You can really trap enemies with these things uh, and it can, be, it can be a lot of fun to use these. So I absolutely at least recommend trying these things out. They come with increased discipline and increased strength, fastball, increased grenade throw distance, momentum transfer, auto rifle loader, and fusion rifle loader. So basically I would only re-roll these depending on what you like to play uh, PvP with. This is not a PvE set of gauntlets. Trip mine grenades are extremely dangerous to use in PvE. I only really recommend using these in PvP. So depending on what you like to run in PvP, I would re-roll these just to get these loaders to be, uh, you know, to, to match that accordingly. Next up for the Warlocks, we've got the Heart of the Praxic Fire. I rarely use these. Praise the Sun. Further decrease all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. Greatly increase agility. The increased agility, I think, is a bit underrated, uh, but it basically gives you one or two extra grenades while you're in Radiance. Um, I don't really find that is worth taking up my exotic armor slot most of the time. Uh, because you already get so many grenades that it doesn't feel all that powerful. It doesn't feel all that worth it. And it's only gonna be useful while you are in Radiance, which is very a very small amount of time during a PVP match or a PVE match. I would say this is probably mostly a PVP uh, piece of chest armor, uh, but I would really skip this. I think there's just better exotics out there uh, for your Warlock in general, even for a Sunsinger. Uh, they do come with increased strength, increased intellect, scout rifle ammo, sniper rifle ammo, arc burn defense, and solar armor. So solar armor is nice, sniper rifle ammo, scout rifle ammo, that actually works out pretty well for, like if you have a Telelock build and you like to be a sniper, you get the solar armor to go with your uh, solar warlock. It's actually not a bad build, so I'd probably stick with this. Next up for our exotic weapon of the week, we got the Soros Regime. Now, Soros Regime is a good weapon. It belongs to the 
a high impact archetype that recently got buffed in update 2.2. However, for PvP, I just don't love it. It just the time to kill on this is a little bit too slow, uh, and the penalty for missing even one headshot. Uh, is often that you're just going to get melted by a Doctor to Passing, a PDX, a Hawksaw, a Hawk Moon, uh, whatever. I just don't find that I have a lot of success with this archetype of weapon, and the Soros Regime is just included in that. Spinning up does help with that. It allows the weapon to fire a little bit faster, meaning that you can just put more bullets down range uh, and get more DPS in a hurry. Uh, but I just... I don't know, compared it, comparing it to other auto rifles or other weapons from other archetypes, I just don't find it's all that competitive. In PvE, it's a little more competitive, again, especially if you're using spinning up, uh, and you also do get your health back on a kill, or you get a chance to get your health back on a kill, which can get you out of some tight spots in PvE. However, you're constantly running out of ammo, especially if you're using spinning up, because you're going to be you're gonna be using those bullets that much faster. So our auto rifles to me right now in PVE, they're just limited by how much ammo you can carry. So if you're gonna use this, which is valid, uh, you're definitely gonna to wanna to have some armor that's gonna give you some extra auto rifle ammo because you will be running out of ammo with this. For PVP, I'd take a firm pass on this right now. You want, might wanna pick it up just for collector's sake or if it gets buffed again in the future. Uh, but right now, you're not going to get a whole lot of use out of it. In PvE, uh, it's okay. It's not great. Next up for Curios, we've got the Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil. So if you'd like to change your blue rare Sparrow to legendary status and change the color of its contrail, these will do that for you. Of course, we got Heavy Ammo Synthesis, three of coins to help you get those exotics faster. We got glass needles to help you re-roll the perks on your exotic armor, and of course, motes of light. So that's pretty much going to do it for this week. Uh, not a great week from Xur. There are some valuable exotics in there, nothing that is amazing. And obviously, since we didn't get a whole lot of new exotics uh, from update 2.2, uh, Xur's Zer has been selling the same stuff for an awful long time. So. Uh, unless you're new to the game, you've probably got most of everything that he's selling this week. So that's going to do it for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.